Before I had a chance to check out Hammerhelm, the game had never even crossed my path, but I was sent a code by Sodesco Publishing who is currently in collaboration with Super 6 Studios on the game, and they asked if I was interested in having a look at it. So naturally, I peeked at some reviews and there was a very positive take on it. Yet after a couple of hours of the game, about 10 in fact, I could see just why Hammerhelm was being so well received. I've always known to never judge a book by its cover, because Hammerhelm looks like it could use some polish in my opinion, but it's in beta form and updated frequently while the developers are pushing for a release. All these factors can drastically change a game, therefore this isn't a BG4G hub review, it's a preview. In short, Hammerhelm is a game about a group of dwarves who don't want to live underground anymore, and it appears to be an attempt at doing something different than other city management genre games do. For instance, the addition of some third-person RPG aspects of the title makes for a very unique take on the genre. It's something I hadn't thought of, and almost reminds me of ActRaiser from back in my retro days. You start by creating a character, naming them, and then you're given a town with limited resources to name as well. The goal is simple, protect and build up your town all while keeping your citizens happy. But the task of doing so isn't quite so simple. It's actually very involved, and this is where the game shines. We all know that simulators can start off overwhelming, but fear not, Hammerhelm has a fantastic tutorial system that makes you quickly familiar with the game. It shows you how to build your town, such as where buildings can be placed, how to open menus, and even gives you some advice for survival. It's also quite good at explaining the combat system, which is pretty basic but entertaining. You eventually have to build certain houses, shops, farms, and even add some wells and sewers to keep your citizens happy. Likewise, your town needs to make a constant supply of food, beer, and all the other necessities it takes to survive. The game is quick to let you know if you run out of these supplies, too. You assign jobs to each citizen to help you collect the materials to build up and maintain the town. But there's a twist. A citizen might be sloppy at a particular job, or they could excel at another. It's best to swap them around. Sometimes keeping everything running smoothly involves getting your hands a little dirty. And this is where the third person RPG aspect comes into play. Your citizens will consistently need your help, leading you into a familiar RPG questing system of being assigned tasks and completing them. You could be asked to clear a dungeon, investigate a haunted mansion, or even clear some evil scarecrows from your farm. While doing so, you earn skill points that help you along your journey, some of which will help you with your combat skills, others in obtaining much needed gold. Combat involves kicking enemies out of your way, dashing, dodging, and there's even a power attack that is extremely useful. Now, no RPG would be complete without a crafting system, and Hammerhelm has that as well. You can craft new weapons, potions, and even an entire armor set so you can look extra sharp. Unfortunately, I didn't get far enough into the game to earn the necessary materials for a fancy armor set. Even though this is in beta form, updates appear to be pretty consistent, and they recently added controller support which is fantastic to see implemented, and the Steam page states that even more content is coming such as collectibles and decor. The active updates are a good sign for a full release, and in my opinion, this would make a great Nintendo Switch title. If you're interested in Hammerhelm, you can give it a go right now on Steam. Thanks for watching, and if you like our content, hit the like button and subscribe. Also, check out the BG4G Hub website for the latest news, reviews, and everything gaming.